Okay, this is my 1000 watt ZVS induction heater set up. And today we're here to answer the question, uh, how much uh, heat is transferred uh, to things outside of the work coil? All right, you probably won't be able to read the amp meter here, so I will read it for you. Now I'm going to turn the power on, and the idle current is about five amperes right now. Frequency is about 91 kilohertz for whatever that's worth, 48 volt power supply. So uh, just first to get an idea, we'll just take this pretty large bolt and stick that in there and I'll read you the current when we stick it in this work coil which is about two and a half inches in diameter maybe a little more so when I stick this bolt in there the current goes up to easily 24 25 amps so that's putting a probably a three-quarter inch bolt into um, this work coil The person who asked the question asked how much power would be transferred by something that was about 150 millimeters in diameter. That's about six inches. So I'm just going to roughly estimate uh, a three inch radius around here. And I'll just take this bar, which is one quarter by three quarter inches, and I'll put it in the middle first. And we'll get a reading here, 20, 21, 22 amperes. That's inside the coil. Now I'll put it just outside the coil. Maybe one ampere, maybe one ampere. That's about it. If I go any further, the amp meter doesn't budge at all at around three inches. So again here, maybe one ampere when this bar is right up against the outer edge of the coil. I got this big round piece here of pipe which is uh, three and a half inches in outside diameter. I can't put it over the coil because of the leads but I'll just bring it down here and see if, what effect we might have. And there the current goes from an idle current of about six amps up to about 11 amps. Now just for fun I'll just put it beside the coil and again, maybe one ampere. So, I don't know, we might conclude, well, there's 16 amps when I lay it there. So if, let's see, could I do that? So if, if I could drop this thing, which is, what did I just say? An inside diameter of three inches, inside diameter of three inches, over my two and a half inch diameter coil. I could see getting uh, over 20 amps that way. But when I look down here, of course, there's only about one quarter of an inch or a little more uh, a distance between distance between this coil, the work coil, and, and uh, the inside diameter of this. So again, if it were out at, at this uh, three inches, Boy, with this large thing at about three inches, with this large thing out here, again, I get maybe one ampere. Okay, so my point is the amount of power that gets transferred uh, to the outside of the coil is, uh, is really not very much. And that's all I have for today.